Phil from Philanthropy interviewing Josie Heath, the president of the Community Foundation in Boulder. How are you, Josie? I'm well, and how's Thropy doing? Thropy's well. He's uh, outside playing with um, some tennis balls right now. Really? He gives us a chance to interview. Well, I understand that Thropy and you, Phil, had some great visits on Colorado Gives Day. And, you know, it must have really paid off because we had a huge response. I am so excited. That 40% increase for Colorado Gives Day for Boulder County nonprofits. That's wow, fantastic. That's incredible. And this morning, just I just got an email from Emergency Family Assistance. Their increase in Colorado Gives Day was 80%. 80%. That's yeah. incredible. I mean, so it's heartwarming that with all the giving that has happened with the flood, that people are also opening their hearts and their wallets to help other nonprofits. It's That's really great. That is incredible. And so fundraising for local nonprofits is doing well. You know, um, of course, I haven't heard from everyone, but the sample that we've had with folks that we've talked to, they tell me their giving is strong. And I appreciate that. I think it's generosity, and it all certainly helps to have the market also strong. That is true. Um, is 2013 shaping up to be a better year compared to the last several years? Forgiving, do you mean? Forgiving, yeah. yeah. For... Well, you know, 2013 has been a challenging year. I mean, our hearts go out to so many people who had losses in the flood. Um, and I don't want to in any way suggest that those uh, are remedied because um, many of those folks will not be whole again. Mm -hmm. But that said, I think folks who were able to give and only gave strongly to flood victims, flood survivors, but also we're seeing they're giving to nonprofits. So that's a wonderful sign. That's great. Strong yeah. community. Uh, do you have a sense of how flood fundraising and recovery efforts are impacting local nonprofits and their year-end fundraising? Well, that's, um, that's uh, the big question, really. You know, there were uh, nonprofits that helped uh, flood uh, survivors, like people like Emergency Family Assistance and others. And then there were nonprofits that just themselves had folks flood. not only had flood damage, but they had loss of income, just as small businesses did. Yeah. But um, we're hoping that they will be whole again, and then we're seeing that they're doing some pretty significant fundraising to help with that. So I think it's we have to see. We don't mm -hmm. know yet on those nonprofits. Wait a little bit to find mm -hmm. out. Yeah. That's great. And, uh, and lastly, as you reflect on 2013 here at the Community Foundation, mm -hmm. what are your top of mind highlights? Okay. Top of mind highlights. Well, Phil, you and Thropy were right up there. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. A little dog biscuit to your uh, to your friend. Excellent. And other <laughs> highlights certainly um, are not just the stories of the resources that folks have given in terms of cash, gifts to flood victims, but the amazing stories that we've heard of people who mucked out the basements of total strangers, the national groups that have been in here and selflessly helped people throughout the county, and the number of people who had full-time jobs but were still kind of reaching out to do flood recovery work well beyond what they ever could have done. So that's got to be kind of a top story for sure. But the other thing is that the nonprofits have had to do their parallel work, work that they always were doing, and the fact that they've continued to be strong and are having a, a really um, important year-end as they do service to not only flood victims but just the general community, those are also highlights. Wow, what a strong community. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wishing everybody a happy holiday, and I'm grateful. Well, thank you so much, Josie. Response.